The sudden rapid upswing in coronavirus cases has brought the most stringent restrictions on how we lead our lives since the war. Cases are now doubling every five to six days and London is a few weeks ahead of the rest of the population with hospitals seeing a surge of admissions. This is what the government is now asking everybody to do. Once someone has a dry cough or fever, everybody who lives with them, friends or family, should completely isolate themselves for 14 days. Everybody who can should work from home. Unnecessary travel should be reduced or stopped. Social gatherings, big or small, should also be reduced. And people should avoid pubs, clubs, restaurants and theatres. Everyone is being asked to join what is, in effect, a social curfew to slow the virus's spread. But three groups in particular are being urged to minimise social contact. Those over 70, younger adults with underlying health conditions who would normally qualify for a flu jab, and, as a precaution, pregnant women. The aim is to reduce cases so the NHS isn't overwhelmed. These new measures have a big effect. This is not a series of small interventions you would anticipate that this could have a dramatic effect to reduce the peak and to reduce death rate. They are not easy, but they are important, and they will have the effect if we all do it. This is a matter for us to take accountability, to make sure we help each other, protect ourselves, and protect the NHS. These measures shift the government's strategy from mitigation towards suppression. Computer modelling by Imperial College had suggested that optimal mitigation policies might reduce peak healthcare demand by two-thirds and deaths by half. Their research also suggests that attempts to slow the virus's spread would still result in critical care capacity being overwhelmed, with surge limits for critical care beds being exceeded by eightfold. 250,000 people would die. The stringent social distancing outlined today should reduce those deaths, but school and university closures may still be needed. And although the measures might be eased temporarily, if pressure on hospitals reduced, the virus would bounce back, and they may have to last for 18 months until we had supplies of a vaccine.